Trapped restaurant workers rallied in Manhattan. They are fighting to change the subminimum wage that most waiters and waitresses get. The East Coast needs to follow the West Coast in this case and eliminate the lower wage for tipped workers. According to a report by Rock United, 70% of tipped restaurant employees are women. The same study found that 60% of female employees have experienced sexual harassment. Protesters hope that raising their wage will lower that percentage. It changes the entire dynamic of a workplace. Women find themselves in this double bind. They're, they're, they're harassed by customers. They're vulnerable because of the way sections are, are decided and they can't challenge sexual harassment. It will get worse. There is no chance it's going to get better because I have also see a lot of restaurant workers that I meet with and prep and talk and help them every single day. I would hear about at least one sexual harassment. Noreen Farrell was one of those victims. She came all the way from California to join the rally. In California, we have one fair wage, and we really have seen that when you don't tie a fair wage to tips, sexual harassment goes down, and that's really important for people to understand. Across the U.S., waitresses are rallying to emphasize that they are not on the menu. The movement comes to New York just as the state wage board is considering a minimum wage increase for all workers. Protesters want the board to give tip workers that same minimum. There are restaurants that pay more than minimum wage. There are restaurants that give sick days. There are restaurants that treat women with respect and dignity. They are not running down the business. The wage board will come to a decision on December 9th. Until then, supporters will just keep on moving. For NYU Tonight, I'm Skylar Bouchard.